But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV there. I see them. Yopo. Memo akwa ba e ba pen dream TV. So make sure send any day they can out here. I best subscribe to your channel. No no click a bell. So send the news to our sons. I bet you me I can't tell no way to. Aye, lead your man. I say, you who are gonna ha? Aye, I buy you a sensei krata. Emma, my job. Aye, Juma, you go a friend of Atlantic. Lead your man. We need to lead your man. You who are my man. Now, no, no, I'm real. I'm saying, so I want to ask you. Listen, I'm saying, my baby, brand new, baby, break. As agreement, I buy you. Say, Juma, you go a friend of Atlantic. Lead your man. We need to mine you. Lead your man. You who are Chrome Hano. And yen 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 a percentage of my my and any percentage I yell, lead your me, the Anesena Fataye, the Anona Aye Mutala Mohammed, our MP Ababa on Tiabe Casa Dabi, Sally to my agreement, no minister, a minister for lands and natural resources, a Russian assigned a ten percent a Atlantic lead to your mobile to a lead your no. Eh, adi ama yenye, adi adi yeye papa, esansi yidi zewe better than that ten percent, you know. Na ano na wani yeye ona bo slide te Asia o Metro TV Good Morning Ghana so yenye, o chere chere ma yenye, o ma slide te huse. Abainwe agreement o muni Atlantic Lithium ako, ako yese o mobile ma Ghana yeye ten percent peno, adi adi esene fata yeye ma Ghana. Mimi kasa bure yangu yangu kwa video. This will be a pioneer lease of lithium that we are having yeah. with any entity. And therefore, you cannot arrange a particular royalty rate with one particular entity or company, and then another company comes to do the same, and then you want to have a variation. That is why civil society organizations and other people are calling that the minister should have looked at the same law, that is the same minerals and mining, you know, at 703 of 2006, specifically section 110, subsection U which says among others that the minister can or may regulate through ally to prescribe a specific royalty rate. So what the minister has provided, the 10%, is not specific. The same section, the same act, provides an opportunity for the minister to bring an ally to parliament in terms of determining a specific rate for this. So that if you have another company that is coming to engage in the same, you know, mining of lithium in this country, then you can have a specific read mm -hmm. that every company that comes, this is how much you are going to pay. And for me, that is problematic. And you have civil society organizations who have raised issues on this nature. Again, another issue that indeed is making people to wonder, and, 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 and I'll come to a point of the statement made by the former chief justice. The rush, the rush by the ministry to do what they did. You see, if you study the, the approval of recommendation letter by the minister and the mining lease, you know, mm -hmm. agreement revealed that they bear the same date. Annie, the approval letter of recommendation by the minister and the mining lease bear the same date. Oh, just go read the approval letter, you know, approval letter by the minister and mm -hmm. the mining lease bear the same date. So, is it that? They, they looked at the approval on the same day and the lease bear the same day. These are some of the questions people are okay. asking. What is gailing in all this? The Annie? 20th day of October. Yes. What is gailing in all this, Annie, has to do with the statement made by the former Chief Justice. He says that he is happy that this thing is opened to discussion. And you have reputable individuals in this country who have engaged in this. By the way, and you don't need to be an expert in mining to be able to proffer a solution on this issue. You just need to have common sense. You don't need to be an expert. Now, if you listen to the former Chief Justice, she seemed to be accusing some individual or entities of taking bribes. Read the statement. Read the statement she made at the IEA program. And for me, that warrants an investigation by the Office of the Special Prosecutor. And I want to use oh. your medium to call on the Office of Special Prosecutor, whose mandate is to investigate corruption, more so political corruption, that such a statement was not made 
by just any individual. So let me read this justice. one, uh, what my producer provided. The Chief Justice of Kufu has reiterated her stance on the Ghana Barari DV limited deal, arguing that the country will forever be entangled with the International Monetary Fund IMF if it continues to sign similar agreements on the other natural minerals. She bemoaned that the country's pensions for loans or pension for loans uh, from the IMF since independence despite the natu its natural resources. The former Chief Justice said, Gold, diamond, oil, bauxite, those are what we call traditional minerals. All these have been there. Since we became independent, we have been going to the IMF borrowing with all kinds of terms, and we ask ourselves why. Uh, there is a, an, a, this adage that if you are doing the same thing, don't expect different results. Uh, if this is how you are going to continue to exploit and extract your resources, or your natural resources, don't expect to be free from the IMF. It becomes like a cyclical malaria. So she called on the government to learn from the other countries that are exploring lithium. Um, we should, quote, we should be exploring each year. We should be looking at similar situations in terms of resource availability, resource finding, um, and what they are doing. This, that is what we are saying. We don't have to go back into the royalties, she opined. So uh, her ladyship further suggested that Ghana should leverage on the money market. She charged the various appointees to do their homework well and order in order to make proper recommendations to the states. There are so many variations, modules, uh, which somebody should do their homework to be able to be in a position to recommend a number uh, that will suit Ghana. With all the figures and all that uh, okay and all that is in it simply ask yourself the question is this formulation of an agreement for the exploitation of our national worth as good as it could ever possibly be the former chief justice asked and this so is this another is, part is, that's another part I, of I, strong word I would, I would urge your producer to, to get that bit that the she, statement she made at the IEA program. I mean, I think that for me, this one is virtually... Okay, we have the videos. I, I am not exactly sure. Okay, I think we have some videos. Let's play and see if we can get so, that side So of. I'm saying that that statement for me is huge. That she's suspecting it's, that it's, someone it's, is benefiting I mean, the, from if you read, if you listen to the statement or read the statement she made, clearly there are a lot of questions that ought to be asked. And I'm saying that if you look at the rush with which this thing is done, for me, that for me is problematic. She also suggests that she thinks that Parliament should not ratify this. Mm -hmm. I don't think that there could be anybody better positioned in terms of looking at the legality of the issue we are discussing here on the, in the matter of those who have taken positions, as you mentioned, some Jonah and others on one position, and the former Chief Justice and lawyer Okuje on the other position. There are reason legitimate questions, and I think that they ought to be looked at. Look, we agree that the Constitution allows any minister or government to enter into such arrangement with an international entity. But they need to come to Parliament for ratification. And that is where I think there will be a huge problem. So yes, 10% is an improvement. 10% which is an, an improvement on the 5% was the basis on which the lives of Dr. Kovna Donko and Co. said this is a very good arrangement. If you read the the position of Mr. Samjona. Mm. He, he seemed to also be suggesting that if you're able to negotiate it from 5% to 10%, then it would be better off than the arrangements we have earlier. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm. No, yes, I've seen this. Right. Okay. I've seen this. this Sly, I, I was actually yes. helping Sly since I, he I've didn't. Seen this but you read the statement he made. All of them, if you ask me, if I take it on the face value, okay, negotiating the royalty from 5% to 10%, I would say, yes, that is good. That is an improvement. But could we have done better? The people are investing about $250 million. Mm -hmm. How much are we using to build the Bank of Ghana offices? Now, someone says that the exploration, they spend their money to do that. You think that someone would do exploration in a vacuum? You think that they would have spent money for the purposes of exploring to find out whether we have lithium? if they didn't have some evidence that they could find it on. Were you told we, that the monies you guys have been approving, sorry, the budget you've been approving in Parliament, uh, allocations to the Geological Survey Authority, is not even enough to pay their salaries? So how more or less, who, whose capacity ought to be built to be able to do some of this? Thing? So when I hear the argument that, yes, they spend their money to do the exploration, 
couldn't the state also take that risk, considering the scientific, you know, information they had on the basis of we having this lithium? Look, Tesla, Tesla is projecting by, by 2030 mm -hmm. that they will be needing about 1,000 kilotons of lithium. Okay. So it means that the demand is going to be huge. The BBC has said that if the Paris, you know, agreement is something that is to be realized fully, it means that the the demand for lithium is going to be very high. I mean, that is the new oil. We are moving from, you know, fossil fuel to electronic vehicles now. Yeah. And that is what is happening. So there is a huge demand and the, pros the prospects of demanding more and the value going high is very high. And that is why people are saying that, yes, there is an improvement from 10, 5% to 10%. But considering the fact that the prospects are very high, could we have had better than we have had? And I think that we need to look at it in that perspective. No one is accusing anybody for engaging in any crime, but people are raising legitimate questions. People are asking that whether we could have done better than we have done. And for me, it's a legitimate question which ought to be taken on board. I agree with the aspects of the statement that, look, Parliament would have to do an independent work. I just hope that Parliament once again will not sheepishly agreed with anything that is brought. I was brought. going to ask you. Yes, Parliament, Parliament will once Parliament. again not sheepishly agree with any arrangement that is brought to Parliament by government, particularly my colleagues from the NPP side. Because you see, when we have an issue that confronts us as a state, I expect that for once we need to move away from this political lenses and look at it as a state. And that is why it is not surprising that you have active or founding fathers of your party who have seen very wrong things with this arrangement and they have taken the side. Majority of those who are against this are not just the, the former chief justice and then the Okujetu and co. Most civil society organizations have problems with this. Most civil society organizations. And in defense of the critical questions people are asking, they, they are quick to remind us that, oh, we have improved from 5% to 10%. The question is that could, could we have had better than we have had? So, so could we have what? indeed engaged in this investment by ourselves as a state, even if it warranted us getting a loan to engage in this exploration, mm. knowing very well that these guys are smart, they won't come and explore if they were not convinced that they would be able to get lithium in this country. Couldn't we have done that? And I think that for me, these are very critical. Th these are some of the wishes of Dr. Kwame Adonko, or opinions or advice. In his opinion, uh, the most important thing the nation should look at uh, is the mining of green minerals holistically, stating that he would prefer a law that either comes under a legislative instrument specific to green minerals or an amended uh, of the existing mining and minerals law to make provision for green minerals. So, and that is not how this arrangement is captured. So that is why I said that. Anybody who thinks or says But that it doesn't he support, necessarily mean the agreement no, should capture that. He no, is just... No, what he's saying or what he prefers... And I've said that all those who think that this is a very good arrangement, they think so or they say so based on the fact that we have improved the royalty we were getting from 5% to 10%. But if you read further, his position is that, look, we need to do ABCD. The question is, have we done the ABCD? And that is why I said earlier that the minister should not have looked at just Section 25 of the Act 706 of 2006. He should have also triggered what is captured in section 110 subsection u where he could bring an ally to parliament demanding that we have a specific rate of the royalties that we will get because listen tomorrow if there is another entity that is prospecting in another part of this country and we we and, and get lithium there are you going to say that because we couldn't arrange this one better because we had just 10 percent of this one we're going to have yours Maybe 15%. So the so section 110 subsection? Section U. Okay, I'm trying to get the U. Mm, so so these has, are this has some of the issues. So my brother, no one is accusing anybody for anything. What we're simply saying is that we should look at best, best practices elsewhere. Surprisingly, the minister was also Forms of application and licenses to be made uh, or issue under this ask. ask. Yes, yes. You know, but surprisingly, the minister was also making reference to Mali. One of the reasons why there is, there is a truncation of democratic rule in Mali, which is now being headed by a military junta, 
is because of arrangements such as they yes. have. Yes. So for yes. you yes. to quickly tell us that, oh, if you look at the arrangement in Mali, ours is better. You look at the arrangement in, was it another Guinea or where, ours is better. That is not what we want to look at. Yeah, but if he, that is not but what if we are he, he references Mali and says the arrangement in Mali is better. No, arrangement ours is better. Ours, sorry, yes. ours is better. It's fair. Because it's because of Mali's situation that has brought them to where they are Our, today. Ours is not fair. If Mali, they were comfortable with that arrangement, they wouldn't have been taking a decision now to more or less cancel and nationalize some of the arrangements they have had with France. Everybody knows that most, in fact, if not all, of the Af uh, uh, Francophone African countries, they are still under the subjugation of France. And the kind of arrangement they have in terms of the extraction of their minerals is just laughable. So for you to tell us that because these African countries, most of whom are French-speaking countries in a way, that the arrangement is this and ours is better, we should celebrate it. That is why I say it's a mediocre at best. Frankly speaking, we could have done better. We could have arranged it better. This rush in signing is for me simply doesn't make sense. And that is why I think that there are some concerns raised by distinguished individuals in this country that this deal ought to be looked at. And I hope that Parliament will not rush into ratifying this, except that we are provided with better particulars as to what informed this 10 percent the minister had without triggering the other aspects of mm. the, the yeah, law. Yesterday I